Hi, good evening. I hope all of you are safe and sound. Uh, saying in lockdown at your home, respect your home. So I wish the safety of all of you. Uh, the reason why I thought you know we should uh, meet again and uh, you know discuss something is uh, is an interesting concept that I thought I should uh, table. In our previous sections, we saw why data lake and how data lake. Today, I want to tell you an interesting application of uh, data lake. What I mean by that is how a data lake can be practically useful uh, for all your uh, legacy application. For example, you know, typically all organizations have this issue of you know having some certain applications which are legacy, having certain data which is they have to maintain for strategic purpose, and to, yeah, that data is voluminous, right? Now. What you, what I have here is uh, you can see. Imagine this is the data that you have in your organization. This is the data that you have in your entire organization. Now, all of the data what you have here is not necessarily that you need on a daily basis. Some data, some data at the bottom that you need to keep for compliance purpose, for reference purpose. You may not need it on a daily basis. For your business, so is there a solution that I can implement, which will basically help me to effectively manage my legacy applications as well as that related data? This is where data lake will come in handy for you. What I mean by that is, imagine that this is the only data that you have, which is you need for your typical daily transactions or keep your business running. And this is you. This is the data that you have. Which is a legacy data, but you have to maintain this because there is a compliance requirement. Now, what do I do? I just segregate this legacy data, and this is the data that I need for my transactional purpose, for my effective business upkeep and running. So, what I do? I create a data lake solution, and have this data stored as part of that data lake. That means the legacy data, I keep it as a part of my data lake. So what are the advantages? Advantages you can have a structured data as well as unstructured data as part of, and you create basically a repository of structured and unstructured data. Second is because of the effective way in which data lake storage is uh, being handled, you don't need a massive, uh, you know, costly infrastructure from a data storage point of view. And third is there are solutions that can effectively search what what which data I need, which data I need. Uh, those are the search possibilities on the entire legacy data that you can build on top of this solution. Now there are some vendors like IBM, the vendors like OpenText, Solix, Oracle. These are some of the vendors that have which are again uh, recognized by Gartner. They have certain solutions which can help you to address this uh, data lake solution, which is basically which means that you are using a data archival solution, but in, by using a data lake uh, uh, as a workline technology. I think this is a fantastic new use case that I found, so I, and then I know certain customers, uh, typically banks or telecom companies, are going for this solution, which means the transactional data. Is, is easily being hand, handled and you don't need to store that data uh, on the transaction systems to segregate this and you store it in a data lake. So that's the application of uh, data lake from a data archival point of view. Very fantastic use case. I sincerely consider that you uh, take a look at this use case from a data lake point of view. Thank you.